Hi everybody, my name is James Wade, and today I'd like to show you how you can deploy a Shiny app to Hugging Face. Now, you might think large language models or model repository when you think of Hugging Face, but their spaces capabilities actually allow us to deploy web apps as well. Let's go into an example. Here I have a blog post from Gordon Shotwell, one of the new members of the Shiny team, about how you can do this with both Shiny for R and Shiny for Python. I'm gonna go down to the part where it tells you how you can actually get started. There is a warning that it's a little bit more difficult to do this in R, but let's not have that get in the way. Okay, so I clicked on the link to go to this create a space. Fortunately, folks at Posit, maybe Gordon himself, have already created some templates that can help us get started with this. So what we need to do is give this a name. I'll call this shiny on HF. Give it an MIT license, and we'll basically just accept the defaults. We'll use Docker, uh, the shiny R Docker template, use the default hardware configuration, and we'll leave this public. Let's go ahead and create this space. This will likely take a few minutes for this to propagate all the way through. And I will say that when I did this earlier, I ran into a couple of issues. If we happen to see those here, I'll show you how to fix them in case you run into them as well. Okay, it looks like our application is going to finish successfully. It took a two or three minutes to get all the way there. And I will go ahead and close this so you can see the application. And it does look like it's not quite rendering as expected. So we do have an application, but there looks like there's still some things for us to work on. For those of you new to spaces, which might be most of you if you regularly work in R, you can treat this somewhat similarly as you might GitHub. So if we go over to the files pane, we can see there's a number of different files here. What we'll pay attention to the most is this app.r file. And I'll also show you how to make some tweaks to the Docker file in case you run into an issue where the build fails like I did on an earlier test of this. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do here is clone this repository and we can copy this. I'm gonna jump over to RStudio to keep going. Now I have my RStudio window open. We will create a new project to clone this repository. Go to version control, select git. I will paste in, it looks like it didn't get everything there, but I think I know what it actually should be. It's hugging face.co. And you can just copy the URL from the original page as well. I'll use this shiny on HF as the project name for this, and we can go ahead and create project. It looks like I got the URL wrong. So let me actually go and grab the correct one. You get to see my mistakes live, or as I make them, I guess I should say. Ah, I forgot spaces. That was the that was the word that I forgot here. So huggingface.co slash spaces slash my name and then the name of the repository. So we'll go ahead and create project. and we can open the app.r file. You might, might be prompted to install some missing packages. If not, go ahead and run the app. And we can see the same issue, if I make this a little bigger, as what we saw on the original page as well. So to fix that, um, I had this happen to my own project, so I know what we actually need to do here. It, one of the latest releases of BSLib you now need to set an explicit sidebar argument in order for this to render appropriately. And with any luck, yep, there we go. It is now uh, showing as expected. I'll make one more change to this. I'd like to use something other than the default ggplot theme. And I think that we should be able to do that. Let's give us ourselves a little more room to look at this. And I'm going to do that over here. So 
So I'm sure I've been looking at this code a little bit more than uh, you have. So if that wasn't obvious, it's just because I've been staring at it more than you have. Uh, let's go ahead and reload this to see if it's working as expected. And yes, indeed it is. Okay, so we've made some of these changes here. Uh, the next step is for us to push these back to the repository. But I do wanna show you before we leave here, the change that I would make if you ran into some issues for the initial build. Uh, specifically, I was getting some GitHub API errors. And if you saw those yourself, you can bypass that uh, because these aren't using development versions of the packages anymore. So I'm just gonna put these in the uh, CRAN installation area. And I think that we can just get rid of this. And this should work just fine. Okay, so there's a number of different ways that we could make push these changes to the repository. We can use the git pane, we could use the terminal. Um, I'll actually show you how I, how I prefer to do this, which is using a package called gert. And we'll exit out of the Shiny app just by hitting escape. Okay, so I will load the gert package by calling library gert. We can add all of the changes by using a period here. We can commit our changes. So the, the three changes that we made are add theme BW um, explicit sidebar argument. And we put, we swapped from GitHub to CRAN for packages. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we wanna push some of these changes. So I will do git push. And it looks like, unfortunately, my changes that I tried to push were rejected. So let me go investigate that and then I will come back to see how we can fix it. Okay, fun debugging complete. Uh, I wanna go through my experience. It sounds like that this is an issue for me perusing different forums uh, related to OS X. Um, so if you're on Mac OS, this might be an issue for you as well. Um, the way that I was able to fix this was creating a write token inside of Hugging Face. And then I had to go into the Git file. So go Git and then click config. I already have this open over here. Yours should look similar, although this URL likely is different. So you'll need to replace this with your user ID. So for me, this is James H. Wade, and then the write token. Um, and then I was able to use gert git push to push all of my changes. Uh, a little bit difficult, um, more difficult than I would like it to be, but I am hopeful that this will be easier in the near future uh, when they patch some of these bugs. The debugging here and uh, has hopefully left us with enough time for the build to complete, and we can go back on the spaces page. All right, now we're back on the spaces page, and I'm gonna get this log out of the way so we can see this over here. And we should notice that we get some similar interactivity as what we had before. So this is what we had locally. And if we jump over here, uh, we can see that the files that we changed are app.r. Uh, looks like we added an R project file. That was when I created it through the interface. Um, updated the git ignore. I have some defaults that ha do that for me uh, based off the configuration of my RStudio environment. And then we also updated the Docker file. All right, so hopefully that shows you how you can deploy your own. And before I leave, uh, I wanna go over here and show you how you could create your own token, because that could be a step that you'll need to follow. Uh, the access, access tokens are here. So to create a new one, um, let me go back because I think I did that a little quickly. Under the settings page, access tokens, new token, and we could just say deploy shiny app. And you wanna give this right access. And there you go. So you should be able to copy that and you would paste that into the git config file that I was showing you a little bit ago. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up or comment below if you enjoyed this and maybe make a suggestion for where I should go next. Have a good one.